Good morning everybody. It's a beautiful gloomy day out here at my flying spot and today we're going to do a little bit of testing with the Titan 225 from Saturn. It looks pretty sweet. It's a stretched X-frame and I bet it's going to thrash this place like no other. Let's give the flight. <laughs> So assuming you don't get anything else crazy in your package, you're basically going to get a box, like so. Everything's nicely neat and packaged, well, wrapped up, <laughs> but all the individual parts and pieces are wrapped up and packaged as well. So I opted for the blue bumpers and camera mount and antenna mounts. Actually those look really nice, I like that translucent blue. I got a keychain. Not a whole lot of hardware to this build. I like that. I like my builds to have a little bit simpler look to them because, you know, less pieces, less things to break. Stickers. Love stickers. Whole bunch of stickers. And the carbon fiber plates. Now, I haven't built one of these stretched geometry quads yet. So this will be one of my first ones, but I think it's going to be pretty neat looking. This carbon fiber appears to be one, two, three, yep, it's four millimeter carbon on the arms. And come on package, there we go, two plates. And the top plate. Everything's really nicely well packaged here. So the sandwich plates are two millimeter. But it's important to remember it's a sandwich. So once you put all these together, you're looking at a combined combina blah, 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 combined amount of six millimeters, well eight millimeters really of carbon fiber. So this thing's gonna be super strong, super stiff, and then the top plate is an additional two carbon fiber. So yeah, this thing should be pretty strong, should be pretty fast. I mean, carbon quality looks really nice. No real burrs or anything. Looks real clean, real nice cut. All the hardware is stainless, so yeah. Lots of nice pieces. I'm gonna put it together and see how it looks. All right, I have been working on this thing for way too long. Life has thrown me a Whatever, I'm not going to complain. Anyway, so here's the Titan 225. I really like this build. I mean, it almost looked picturesque just sitting there. Now don't judge me on my components. I was going to wait on some smaller FPV gear, and then I built it and was like, holy cow, I want to see this thing fly. So ignore the Immersion VTX and crappy HS clone camera. Um, this thing's about 311 grams, no in, without the antenna and without a battery, so it is kind of heavy. I did forget to get a dry weight. I'm sorry, you guys can yell at me. I will put the link below so you guys can go find it if you are interested in buying it, but honestly, if you like it, you're going to buy it no matter what it weighs. Now, onto this thing. This thing is freaking cool. I mean, it is a stretched X. It's longer one way than it is the other. But a lot of thought went into this. You've got these neat little cutout feet with this neat little bumper guard. Keeps it all slick and smooth so you can't break it. I did glue these. You don't want to let them just sit on there. They will fall off. You've got these pretty slick little 3D printed, I believe it's ABS camera mounts that are flexible so it protects it. And it directly screws into the camera. And I did find it kind of funny. There's an indention right here. So I guess if you're going real hardcore, you can go straight vertical with the camera. But I didn't need it. <laughs> I was going to run a Night Wolf on here, but you can see this is a little narrow, so I didn't. So keep that in mind. I think the Legend would fit fine. I have one right here that has a similar shaft size, so it, you should be able to fit it with the Legend. If not, the HS117s will work. It does have a, an antenna mount, like so, so you need to run a Hawkeye VTX or something with a pigtail. Again, this is just an immersion that I rigged up with a pigtail a while back for another build. But I mean... 
flight performance. At first, I could not put my finger on what it is, but it really does corner. I don't want to use the term better. I'll use the term different. And for me, it was a good different. Um, you'll see in the video at the end and the video from the beginning that it just it seems to carve the corners. It's it's more of a smooth motion. I, I was skeptical because, you know, who really turned like a plane in this hobby? We all kind of turn with butt drag. But, I mean, you didn't get the wobbles. You didn't get the shakes. It, it just... It felt smoother in the flight, and I, I really like that. Uh, the frame is $80. It's it's pretty damn well priced for what you're getting. I mean, this is some super thick carbon fiber. It's super rigid, and it's actually pretty damn well laid out. And, and I mean, this is a great frame. I really like it. I had a Legend 2 mounted on top, and it, it you know, it wasn't steep enough angle, go figure, but it, it still recorded really well. It was real smooth. Um, I really like this frame. I do. Oh, I do want to comment I'm an idiot. I built this with the wrong, well not the wrong, but not very efficient setup. These are 2205, 2700s. Yeah, I can hear you people laughing at me now. So I was only getting like a minute and a half of battery on a graphene battery, but it's still cut and flew and carved just fine. I think I'm going to throw something a little bit torquier on it, give it a little bit more oomph out of the corners and a little, hopefully a little bit longer flight time and it'll keep going. So yeah, you know what? I like this thing. If you want one, Try it, they're definitely worth it.